In a race, would you rather come 17th, 20th, or 27th? What if I told you it was a race for education? Would you rather be ranked higher? These are the ranks for math, reading, and science, respectively, for students in the U.S. out of 34 countries, sourced from nces.ed.gov. Where does the problem lie? In testing, grading, or in the school system in general? The United States spend more per student than any other country on education, but that spending does not translate into better grades or performance since we are ranked near last. We interviewed some teachers on what they think on the current U.S. school system. I try my best to differentiate the various units that are being taught in the curriculum to help my students best understand the information. In addition, I engage my students by practicing their writing skills via essays. Um, I am more than willing to provide straight answers about how the world actually functions versus what is promoted ne necessarily in academia. Well, based upon the current Common Core curriculum, they are following college readiness programs and they are implementing new stages and levels of critical thinking. So I would say pretty much every lesson or everything project-centered makes that more engaging. I would say that a typical student has 15 to 20 minutes of work for my classes per night. I would say about every other day they would have homework or if not um, involvement within the classes, uh, class participation would make up for some homework. I believe that extracurricular activities in AP classes make it more difficult for students to properly be academically successful in all their classes. There is less time available for each aspect of their day. AP classes in particular provide uh, an additional level of work, both in terms of quality and especially quantity. I believe that the Common Core does have good intentions, but has been mismanaged in terms of its implementation. I do not believe that the Common Core necessarily benefits my students, especially with regards to the increased amount of testing students must endure throughout their academic careers, and in a sense turning education into a factory assembly line model. The completion of work becomes overwhelming when a student feels that regardless of their best efforts and intentions to maximize their potential, they are unable to fully address every task that is assigned by each of their classes when at home. It depends on the class, actually. For some students, they will do better if they have a small quiz every day to assess if they understand the previous day's material. Just uh, that, that helps a teacher to determine their level of recall and their level of analysis of previously discussed facts. Other students who are able to absorb a wider range of knowledge for a, a longer period of time don't necessarily need to see such a frequency of such testing and therefore could be expected to see possibly a test every anywhere from every two weeks, possibly upwards to a month. Testing becomes too much when we are testing for the sake of testing. I believe that the Regents, to a certain degree, does help to determine the level of knowledge students have for their subjects. However, it's not necessarily indicative with regards to how successful they will be long-term in their lives. As far as the Regents is concerned, um, it's a standardized test which has been given for years and pretty much tests the students' abilities for what they've learned in their classes. It's a standardized test that has been changed or augmented for years, but it is a good way of testing a student's standard and level of education. 
I would change the school system primarily by adjusting the ratio between students and teachers. I believe that teachers are overwhelmed at times by the amount of students they have. Um, when you have 34 kids in a class, it's very difficult to provide individualized attention to all students at all times. When I was in boarding school, my ratio between students and teachers was far and away less students per class than there is here. And for that reason, I believe I was able to consistently get a higher quality education than the average student in the current public school system. The educational system is becoming more technologically centered. It's becoming to the point where technology is not keeping up with the social media or keeping up with the level of education that people are expected to learn. And when they transfer into actual jobs, even at your age, you're often behind in your level of exposure because the schools are not keeping up with the level of exposure in companies. So that's my say as far as that. No, I do not feel um, as prepared for college or life in general as I would like to be because I feel that due to there being too many students in this school, not every student is able to get the attention or the help needed. But no, I do not feel prepared for college or life in general because due to the Common Core coming into the system, um, I feel that the English is a lot easier and the math is harder, but I didn't have to deal with Common Core. I usually get homework for like about two hours, but studying also factors in, so studying adds more time to that. Extracurricular activities and AP classes takes a lot of time away from the student because AP classes are a lot more work uh, and a lot more studying because they are a lot harder. And extracurricular activities, if you, uh, especially if you play a sport, you end up getting home really, really late. Um, I don't think that the Common Core is really needed. It's not really helping anyone in this generation really. Maybe like for the kids that are in elementary school right now, it might help them out. But, but since the uh, current high school kids right now, since they were already doing the regular stuff, um, they, should ju they should have just let, uh, let the high school kids stick with that and not change, bring in Common Core to them. Oh, I think it is hard to adjust because uh, because uh, the students who are taking Common Core, the teachers would have to reteach a whole new curriculum, and they might not be um, good at teaching it, or maybe they will, but you can't know for sure. No, I do not feel that laws and programs such as Common Core are benefiting us because, as I said, you have to readjust, and they're making like the English, let's say, a lot easier, which. It's not going to really help you with anything. Maybe it'll make it easier to get better grades, but other than that, you're not really learning anything. Oh, well, I never really have trouble completing assignments from my regular classes, but from AP classes, yes, because they are a lot harder, and I do need help with those. I think the completion of work becomes overwhelming when um, every single um, class you have gives you homework and when they pile on other stuff such as tests and projects. Testing can, can be too much when every single teacher is giving you a test all in the same week because then you won't have much time to study for any of them. Test taking should be given every two to three weeks or in general when a unit is covered. Regents are not necessary because they're very easy and most students pass. The school system should change the curriculum and make it a little more challenging because since it is not as challenging, students are not able to use their full potential. And I feel that students are capable of doing a lot more challenging work.